What's up y'all? Stereo Man back at it again. Today, for the next couple of days, we're working on a 2006 Corvette Z51. Yes, we are totally overhauling the entire sound system. The only thing that's gonna be kept in the vehicle is the Pioneer Double Den Navigation Unit with the seven inch screen that the customer bought not too long ago. So we're gonna add all new speakers to this vehicle. Now, this vehicle has 10 inch woofers from the factory, which are actually garbage, and it has three and a half in the doors as well. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna scale that down to a six and a half inch component system, which is the Diamond Audio D-Series, six and a half inch components. And then we're also gonna put, we have a custom box, and we're using the WDX, um, we're using the WDX eight inch subs by DB, DB Drive. Look how thick this thing is, yes. And, it's going in this custom box made specifically for the Corvette Coupe. We also got Stinger Premium wiring, 100% copper, as well as the Stinger Premium RCAs for this vehicle. And we're using Stinger Roadkill, which is the sound deadener, similar to Dynamat putting this in the doors. And we're installing a Hertz five channel digital amplifier in this vehicle. It's gonna power all the speakers in here. And also we're gonna put a bass knob by Hertz in here too. And we're gonna run a USB through the center console for the customer's iPhone. We're also gonna install the Omega linker system, which will be the GPS locator for this vehicle. It's a standalone system because we're not doing an alarm and remote start in this vehicle. And those who desire the best come to the best. The best is located at 1540 Roswell Road, Suite 600 in Marietta, just a half mile east of the Big Chicken. 770-977-4460 or 708-821-3526. Make the call or stop by. It's just that simple. Now let's get started. We've already finished the sound deadening material, which is the brand Roadkill. And the speaker is already mounted to here. We're going to get ready and mount the crossover and the tweeter. We're going to get it, this stuff connected and then uh, we'll be able to put this door panel back on. And you see, totally professional install here. A lot of people will think that, oh, you're going from 10 inch down to six and a half. It's not going to sound as good. It's not going to sound as clear when that is certainly not the case because these are... Uh, much higher end speakers than the 10 inch woofers that were in there and a lot it's going to be a lot clearer as well and it's able to handle more power and you see we got the head unit removed as well because we still have to run all the rcas to it as well as the remote wire as well as the backup camera connections as well so we're going to get to this and move along see we got the driver's door done now We had custom make an enclosure for this, just like the other side. Next order of business, like I said, we're gonna mount the crossover and the tweeter's gotta be mounted to the door panel itself. Then we're gonna put these door panels back on and then we're gonna run the rest of these wires, get the rest of this stuff done. Stay tuned. All right, we're about to button up the passenger door. See, we got the crossover mounted in here and everything. We got the tweeter mounted in a custom enclosure. And we've got the woofer mounted, custom enclosure, as you can see. I'm gonna get this thing put back together, and you're gonna hear how it sounds. Stay tuned. All right, finishing up the driver's door now. See, we got the crossover mounted. About to put the door panel back. All right. Also, on this vehicle, we have to remove the bow amp because we cannot disconnect the other harness from it unless we remove the amp. And this amp is going to be actually disconnected anyway uh, because we got the new one that's a lot more powerful. It's going to sound a lot better with this new system we're putting in here. Stay tuned. All right, we got the new Alpine speakers in the back, which are five and a quarters. And then we're going to get ready to put these panels back after we finish running the wires. We're all finished with this 2006 Corvette. Everything is put back together to factory specs, as you can see. 
door panels are put back together perfectly fine. You cannot even tell that they were ever removed and the extensive modifications done behind them. Take a look at the new Hertz five channel digital amplifier. Nice and neat. And take a look at the custom box with the DB drive WDX subs in here. And you see power wires nice and neat. Everything nice and neat on this vehicle. And you see the backup camera right there. We couldn't center it because of the way this car is designed. This is the closest we could put it at the center. See it's in reverse right now because in this vehicle the ignition will not turn off if it's not in reverse. It's on the iPod right now. And there you have it. Another flawless install.